royaltyradio.ca. More than a motivational speaker, of course, he's a marketer, he's an entrepreneur. He is the founder of Uology, which is a motivational address which he gives to young people. He also provides you know, messages allowing people to follow their goals and to stay on the right path. Um, he's also been a manager of brand partnerships at the Y Syndicate, a consultant for the Timeless Group of Canada. Um, he's been doing so much stuff. He has uh, his group called 1081, which uh, helps brand and truly connect uh, consumers with non-traditional strategies involving lifestyle-based marketing initiatives. Um, of course, if you don't know, you know his parents also founded something by, by the name of Jones and Jones Production way back in 1987. Uh, they became well-known marketers and promoters within Canada's urban music and uh, entertainment industry. Uh, like the saying goes, the outfit does not fall far from the tree. He's young, talented, focused, and he's hardworking. We have the one and only. Jesse Jones, welcome to Rotary. What's going on? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> thanks for having me. I almost don't feel worthy of that. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good, man. It's good yeah. to have you. How are you enjoying the weather so far, guys? I'm enjoying it, man. I'm actually really warm right now. I'm really so, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, but it's, it's better. Fun. It's better than the snow. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's better than the snow. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy to be here. Thank you very much for okay. for having me here. We've been trying to do this for yeah, we've been trying to do this for a while, you know. Um, but you know, schedules, you know, are are, are it's, it's uniting right now. You know, it's, it's good. <laughs> shit. I said prior that your, your parents founded Jones and Jones back in 1987. Yeah. Uh, now, how did, in terms of the exposure to you know a wide variety of shows, concerts, cultural plays, etc., at such a young age, what kind of influence did that have? I mean, you know, this was like my home. Yeah. You know, places like this, studios. Yeah. You know. Um, you know, seeing artists come through town doing interviews for shows my parents were putting together. Uh, my bed was literally couches and studios uh, uh, underneath tables backstage at concerts. Um, you know, so that's just been my life. It's, it's been what I've seen. And so, you know, coming up and experiencing the entertainment industry from like a business standpoint has been what's, uh, you know, really got me excited for that kind of stuff you know what i mean so you know a lot of people get up in the game and they want to be on the artist side of things and, and while i've i've touched that i've always been exposed to the business side so you know how how does the artist become the artist how do you package that how do you you know how the management the branding all of that stuff that goes into what you see when the lights come on that's what i'm excited about and that's why i believe you know you know every artist really needs is you know because you don't need a bunch of people excited about the art because that's what the artist job is to do right. what you need are other people excited about the other components you need to make your brand like really go and uh you know that's why i'm really glad we're talking today because i feel like you know a lot of brands artists you know whatever type of artist you are um really need to to kind of realize that right. there's more to the package you know what I mean? So, so yeah. So growing up in the industry and stuff, and, and seeing all that, I mean, you know, it's 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 been something that was almost second nature to me. I knew it was happening because I just was a part of that. Okay. So this is just a manifestation of everything. Of course, uh, in terms of your parents, you know, what would be one of the most profound lessons that you know your mother and father respectively have taught you that you carry throughout your day to day life up to this point in time? When there's adversity, just keep going. I mean, you're always going to see adversity, especially if you're starting your own initiatives. If you're trying to build something out of nothing, man, get like, be prepared. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, that's one of the things that I'm finding right now is like, you know, there's, there's going to be a lot of opportunity for you to stop. Yeah. Lots. I think a lot more than there would be to start. Exactly, right? So there's always going to be a chance for you to stop. And I think that if you do stop, then, you know, one thing's for sure, nothing is gonna happen after that. Right. But if you keep going, yeah, you might get hit again, but you know, there's another chance. If you just stop, there's no more chances. And I think that that's one of the things that I've seen, you know, from the business is that, you know, it's just, it's just, um, you know, just a nonstop work ethic from both my parents and just, you know, I'm, I'm trying to actually stay at that level. It's hard, it's you know what I mean? Though. It's always hard. Yeah, it's, it's hard to fill those shoes. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, that's just, 
that's what I've seen and that's what I'm trying to take to people now. It's like, you know, I'm not trying to preach or anything when I'm, when I'm, you know, it's, it's funny because when people are like, when you're positive, people are weirded out. Right. It's almost like weird. It's, 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 it's like, almost, wow, like, right. why is this guy so positive? Like, why is he rain on a parade or something? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really weird. And, and my message is that I'm pushing right now is really to just love what you do. Right. Whatever it is you're doing, love it. Yeah. Find out what you're truly passionate about, love it. Because when I get up at 3 a.m. in the morning and I'm like, like excited to do stuff, right. it's because I'm excited about the stuff I'm doing. Right. I'm not dreading waking up in the morning now. Right. You know what I mean? Because the stuff I'm working on is like stuff I want to do. Yeah. So this message that, you know, and we could talk about, obviously you all do one one and all that at some point throughout this thing, but this message I'm pushing out is just, Whatever you do, man, love it. Just love it. If you're gonna sing, love it. If you're gonna run, love it. If you're gonna be a doctor, love it. You know what I mean? Because it gets very old very quickly when you get up and you're angry. I was reading this article one time and it said that you're actually better off unemployed than to be employed and miserable. It's different. Wow. It, it, what it it's does like, is it weighs on your psyche. Yeah. So it's all of that stuff, and I just you know that's what that's what overall yeah. my whole thing is is like love what you do, simple whatever that is. You know what I mean? And, and right now I'm having a great time. So let's get into theology 101. Um, you know, it started uh, due to a presentation that you provided uh, back at uh, Queen Institute in School of Business back in 2009. Yes. Um, now, of course, that's a very grand stage in itself to, you know, be on to give a presentation, you know, uh, given the school's reputation. Well, how did the whole invite there happen? Um, you know, I was doing work um, back in the day. I was handling all the licensed fashion business with the Timex group. So I was right. uh, handling Nautica watches, uh, Mark Echo watches, and nationally, as far as the marketing, branding, PR. Yeah. And Queen's... Um, School of Business has their QMAC conference every year. Okay. And, and in that year, they wanted to have uh, someone who was younger, right. who was in branding and marketing, okay. who could, who they felt the students could connect to in a different way. Uh, so I was lucky enough to be asked to go there. And I was really nervous <laughs> before I was going there because it's Queens. Yeah. Like, it's like Ivy yeah. in Canada, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, students had to book into their seminars and like I walked into the room and there was like a lot of students in there and I was just like, okay, cool, so let's let's just do this. And um, started talking to them. Started talking to them about the types of things that I do on a given day or whatever and who I get to work with and the fact that I get to work with like musicians and, and be in studios, you know. And, and then, you know, on the flip side, be making presentations at boardrooms and merging all the worlds I was a part of, you know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, at, the end, at the end of the whole, um, at the end of the whole, you know, presentation, I got a bunch of questions that I wasn't expecting. Like I thought that I was gonna get questions about like the book stuff, you know what I mean? Uh, but I didn't, everybody was just really curious about like, how do we get as excited as you about what we're going to be doing? How do we take what we're learning in school right now and, like, transform it to something we're actually going to be really excited about? And it was on my, my, my drive back from, you know, Kingston to Toronto where Uology 101 was stopped was, was when it came up. Uh, that's how it was all conceived because, you know, I thought to myself, I said, look, if the questions that they're concerned about, you know, if if they're really surrounding just what they love um, and loving what they're doing, then maybe this is a message I could take to high schools, colleges, universities, conferences all over the place. And we started up the concept, got the logo done, and then ultimately it just became, you know, just put it out there really organically and then people just started gravitating towards it. Like, I, I feel that. Cause it's almost, a, it's like, it's a simple thing that society doesn't really push. Right. Like, really, reinforcement. you know? So it's almost, it's almost like we felt like there's an opportunity for this and that's how the whole thing came about. Okay. And uh, now we're taking it to, you know, universities, colleges, schools, all over the place just to, you know, and, yeah, it's just, it's, uh, of course, you know, 1081. 
Yeah. Yeah, into that. I know. You know, that's the that's the main key. That's the cause of everything. Yeah. Um, branding on. How did that come about? Uh, Teddy was just a, a evolution of um, you know the Jones and Jones group, which right. exists already. Um, and it's an evolution of my experiences to this point. I've always been in the brand world, right. whether it's on the agency side or on the actual brand side of things. And so, you know, ultimately, 1081, uh, you know, was, was born to to fill a void and marry the worlds that I came up in. Right. So, I have experience, you know, with major brands okay. and and being able to to create opportunities with them. But I also grew up in this city, in an industry that, you know, like the, the urban music industry, right. which is very entrepreneurial in itself. And I feel that I can also use, you know, what I'm passionate about, what I know a bit about right. to help artists, right. you know? So while I might be doing a campaign for Bell, for lack of a right. better word, working with them on something, yeah. um, I can also be handling the branding and you know consulting on up and coming artists in the city. It's mm -hmm. just because those worlds are things that I touch, and I think it's something that's necessary in the game right now. Mm -hmm. uh, branding yeah. and not just aligning with people because they are your friends, mm -hmm. but aligning with them because they actually know what they're doing. <laughs> so it's like you know instead of spending. Um, and I know you have a question, so yeah. I'm sorry. But instead well, of spending, it into what you're talking about. Yeah, instead of spending yeah. a bag of money at the club to act like you have that, right. spend that $500 and come and speak to someone who can help you structure what your website should look like and why your press kit should look like it's your site and why you should maybe start blogging maybe or okay. what like what are the elements you should put together. And I, I think a lot, a lot of well, it goes into this, like, what is something you think a rapper should be doing to help brand themselves? A rapper specifically? That, that are not good yeah. artists. Well, well I, I guess, yeah. yeah. Artists, I, but we're a rap show, you know? Yeah, 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 no, for sure. Um, at the end of the day, I feel like whether you're a rapper or you're an artist in general, I, I think you need to look it within and figure out why it is you're doing this. Right. Like, really. We, because the industry we're a part of, this. BET world of things, right. you, and I say that because you see the music videos and you believe the hype. Yeah. Like that's not what it should be about. Right. Your driving force should not be about that, and um, it really needs to be about, you know, because because Drake is hot doesn't mean you have to come out doing what Drake is doing. Right. Drake is hot because Drake did his own thing, yeah, like, and right. he was just cool with that yeah. while people were ridiculing him. Yes. So you need to really know what your brand is about right. take steps back don't put on a chain if you really don't yeah. want to wear a chain yeah. or you can't afford one yeah. you know don't 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 try to put cars in your videos if that's not what you're driving or right. being or who you are like right. you know yes there's a certain amount of swagger you kind of have to come with but i think the, i think the most swagger is when you're actually being real yeah that's yeah. swag <laughs> you know what I mean? So I think, you know, uh, artists could really stand to just take a step back and identify the things you're truly passionate about. Let that drive what it is you're putting out. You know, and priorities like yeah, that. and not try to put out stuff because you feel that's where you need to be okay. because other artists are doing that. Sure. But yeah, like, seriously, if you're listening, spend some money consulting with somebody. Yeah. Take some steps back before you put out a mixtape or anything. Like. Figure out what your brand really is about, right. you know. Um, and I'll and I'll also say, people watch the stuff you put out on Twitter and all this thing. If you're ranting and you're ah, ah like people look at that, and it's like yo. If you're fabulous, you can afford to do that because yeah. you've got a million followers. But if you're just on the come up, like handle yourself accordingly. Right. Think about the things you're putting out there. Yeah, make sure it's part of your brand. Yeah, like, part of your brand. Exactly. Yeah, like if you're a thug rapper, don't be tweeting about watching like the OC or something. <laughs> <laughs> and, and if you love the OC, say you love the OC. You, yeah, the yeah, OC. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Like it's just being real. A lot of people, you know, unfortunately, are comfortable with you know, just their own skin. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think the real, the real truth comes out when you just kind of put it out there and you let the people. 
in this country. So thank you very much, Andre, Faith, everybody. You, you know, great questions. You've been studying, I can tell. You know, it's a good <laughs> time. Next time, next time, I'm gonna do an interview with you and Peak Plus. Cause yes. both you got uh, interviews. Yeah. Shout out, shout out to Peak Plus yeah. too. So you two interviews have been the most. Yeah, we talk, we, we talk actually, P and I, so. Um, shouts out to P Plus, cause yeah. he's on, you know, he's a DJ that, you know, has some real message. Yeah. And, and real meat behind them, you know what I mean? So, yeah. We're definitely gonna have a segment just with the two of you, you know, just the whole segment. A uh, full two hours. You know, full two hours. Hour. <laughs> yeah. You know? yeah, but the show is dope. The vibe in here is crazy. Thank you very much. You know, I really, really appreciate it. It's a blessing, man, to, to start something yeah. that you didn't think, would, you weren't sure where it would go, and right. then have people gravitate towards it is like a super blessing, man. So I appreciate it. Most definitely, man. Yeah, that's what it is, man. With the man, Jesse Jones, getting our motivational swag.